Welcome everybody to the first episode of Artists Speak Out. I'm your host, RA Certified. And with me tonight, I have Almost Famous. What's up? Chris Won't Miss. Hey. And I'm Oroski, the rap guy. Oh. How y'all feeling, fellas? Feeling good. Yeah, yeah. You ready now? So, um, well, look, we're going to get right into it. Um, so tonight, we're going to touch on some topics from our perspective, you know, from the artist's opinion. You know, the ARs get to speak out, the, um, the record labels, the radio hosts, you know, everybody get their, you know, their say-so. So tonight, we want to hear what the artist got to say. Um, Almost Famous, how you feeling tonight, man? I'm feeling good. See you moving around the city a lot, man. You're doing your thing, man. Yeah, I'm trying. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. So, uh, just got to, I guess we do a little few questions right now. Um, just talking about some, like, current events, some topics going on right now. Uh... How y'all feel about Kanye and his deal right now? I feel like he should have read that or had somebody look at it or something. What was he going through? Chris, what you think, Chris? It's like, I feel like you should not have gotten to that level without the ability to read that contract. You need to be doing that for the baseline, especially at a billion dollar level. You need to know what's in your contract. But um, do, we, do they all do that? Like, is that like a thing that it seems like artists do that all the time? Artists do do it all the time, but it's Kanye. You feel me? Right, right. You know what I mean, you educated, bro. You right. should know better. I mean, so who to blame then? Him? I'm gonna say it's him. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. come on, bro. Like, you, like I said, you educated. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got your own clothing line, sneaker line. You know what I'm saying? You say you're a genius in music. Why ain't you reading your contract? Yeah. But like, maybe at that time, he was seeing the money, saw that check, and, and signed it. That's the job of the label, though. They're supposed to get the best price for the product. Like, it's your job to negotiate right. your best price. Right, right, right. So what's next? For Kanye? For Kanye, yeah. Is he, is he the future president? No, no. Nah. He's in a mental institution. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at this point, you can't really tell him that that's out of the line because, like, we already got an entertainer in the White House right yeah, now. So, like, <laughs> it's true. So, like, 10 years from now, really, who knows? I mean, honestly, does a president really have that much power? They shouldn't, to be honest. But they had to, see, they had to, um, you got people that watch them, you know what I mean? You got right. people that just sits in their house and they just look at media, whatever, politics, right. even religion, and that's just what they go with. So, I mean, everybody can be, like, you know, finessed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, or it's I mean, like you guys, with this, like, um, does this change anything going forward and, like, with future contracts and different things like that? Yeah, we just said, and if you can't read it, get somebody else to read it. Yeah. Somebody that know they, what they talking about. Somebody like who? Like a lawyer or something. Like a lawyer, a manager, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, sometimes contracts are designed for you not to be able to understand it right. when you read them. You know what right. I mean? That's right. why you got to have somebody that knows the way that it's worded to be able to tell you, all right, this is what this means, X, Y, and Z. Wait, you know what I'm saying? Right. No sugar, coat, no nothing. This is what it is. Y'all, right. you guys seem like y'all know, you know, you got to read cross your T's, dot your I's, and all that before moving forward with this. So, on the entertainment side of things, how y'all feel about Tory and Megan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm confused about that. Is like, it entertainment, or is it... Um, it's entertaining. Or is it real? <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I don't... I mean, come on, you get shot in the foot, and then you already on your knees, on your feet, you know what I mean, doing that WAP video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But she did the WAP video before that, they said. She did it around the time they filmed um, the BT Awards. Tell Megan I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 I mean, she a rider. She could take, she could take a bullet. I'm saying, I mean, but why isn't Tori be locked up though? Why? Right. right. Why isn't well, I mean, up? do you have to press charges? Maybe. She didn't want to press charges. She didn't too. want to press charges, but the cops was there and they arrested her. So yeah, but if they want... arrested her home right when the incident happened, isn't the weapon right there on the spot? But if it's an accident and then she dropped the charges, oh, yeah. and go home. True. If the if the gun is legal. Which, which I'm guessing it is, because he's not locked up for a legal gun. But did y'all listen to the album? The Tory album. Lanez album? <laughs> it's good. That album is his best album. I heard album. a couple of songs on it. Well, like did, he, did he diss? I heard he dissed Megan. No, he was just he, talking yeah. about the situation. He dissed people, people that 
you know the celebrities that was on Instagram talking shit. He just oh, okay. Yeah. Everybody people that took him trolling off, him and whatnot yeah, yeah. off yeah. their music. He just people that took them took him off their music. So did he apologize tonight? Like I, I, I really haven't been following really. the story. Yeah, Certain songs. He got, he got a love song about it. He got songs saying how you get shot in the foot, but just walking away. He got different. Oh, so all this is on his new project. I, you, I yeah. love you. Yeah, like he got. You got this, this is a good album. I think this is the best. I, album. And I and I see a lot of people posting that is a is a great project. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Well, I guess I mean, sometimes you gotta go through like something new. Right. Well, what if yeah. well, what if all of this was just for him to get the numbers for his album? That's what right. I was about to say because they got the number one and three videos. But in the are you willing right to shoot Chris to get to get some publicity? <laughs> in the foot, I mean, like, I'll be, be right. I mean, you willing to get shot? <laughs> be right. for some I mean, if it ain't really happened, yeah. or you know what I'm saying, like you know, like yo, I'm gonna shoot you in the foot. I'm gonna shoot you with this deuce, 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 cut you a check, you know what I mean? Cut you a check. I pay for your hospital bill. If it's such a negative thing that happened, the best like comeback we seen like from somebody like yeah for someone to shoot somebody a female at that uh, and someone at his caliber and then come home what to a new like car a, 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 number, <laughs> a number one mixtape you know what i mean charges dropped and um right. yeah. no snitch title right. on him mm-hmm. uh, yeah he did um, get out pretty clean from s- that salute tory <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, i can't really handle the comeback well then i guess um I think he should have did a, a interview, like a interview talking about. It. Even though he said he can't talk about, it, he should have did an interview talking about it. But what we say the interview was as great as you just said the, the, the project yeah, the, was. I don't lie about it. Yeah, but I want to hear him. Like I want to hear what happened in that van from him. Like I well, hear, I'm sure he was probably throwing them numbers at them different. You know, um, yeah, yeah. Whoever get the, the best bidder. So what's your what is your um your views on COVID nineteen? It changed the world. Like it's so different. Like this this mess getting on my nerves. It's just like, it changed, like, the whole, it just feels so different. Yeah, it's a different world. Yeah. It's just like, I mean, like, I, I feel like it just gives people a little bit more time. Everything you got to do, you got to take a little bit more time and think about what you're doing. And maybe that's a good thing in the mm. end. But, you know, all the side effects are fucking annoying. Yeah. Right. Oh, man. I mean, <laughs> I think, you know what I'm saying, it's complete bullshit, honestly. You know what I mean? I feel as though, you know, like I said, it ain't no worse than the flu. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, that's not, it can't be that, because the virus is real for real. There wasn't people going to the hospital at these rates before. And that's the Hold point. On. It's supposed to All be right. like the flu. I understand that, but you got doctors and nurses that work at these hospitals saying that they're being paid and told yeah, to fake because you need. Well, you know what I'm saying like not to fake it, but no, you, I wouldn't say. Fake, I mean, fake it, but, but I think people going in for different things and then getting labeled as, yeah. as corona. Yeah, because you know like saying? you're they're trying to really have corona. They're being labeled as that because they're being told to. Mm-hmm. They're trying to find mm-hmm. the virus. Like they're trying to, and they didn't know what the symptoms were. So at, originally, a lot of people got told they had COVID. They might have just had the flu. Right. But some is, some people different... may have had it earlier before they even knew what right. it was, yeah. and mm-hmm. you know, think well as artists, us all being artists, how has it affected? The artistry and the industry. Well, I work in the medical field, so I made more money. Mm-hmm. I love working and I'm essential, but on the artist side, it's like the shows and everything is like. So, I mean, being essential, are you like fearful? Are you like, you know? Yeah, like, a little bit. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, what about being an artist? Well, like, I work in a restaurant. So, when restaurants got shut down, I got a lot more time to work on the artist side. And mm-hmm. I felt a lot of benefit from that. Right. And it's like, not that I'm glad it happened but like you know i made the best out of a bad situation in that time mm-hmm. so you know you gotta look at things on the bright side yeah, especially yeah. with something like this yeah. yeah what you got i mean um only thing that really stopped for me was shows honestly i'm saying the ability to be able to go out and, and perform other than that i was able to get more music written more right. music recorded and all that so yeah. it was like it gave me side. an advantage honestly right. Right. I think we all found time to like really dig into our artistry and really yeah, like right. might have not been like well I guess just the the matter at hand was going on is inspiration in itself you know what I mean just yeah, to yeah. see what's going on and the different things so as long as you can find like some inspiration and some quiet time I think we flourish. Yeah, it's a 2021 but um are we set back or are we hit you know do we get a nice little start because yeah, we've no, been working on music I'm ahead of schedule. I can say that confidently. I'm ahead of schedule with everything that I'm trying to do. That's nice. And then, then you got people <laughs> sitting at home. Now, you know, like, they were home, so when you drop music, they listening. They got right. nothing else to do. Yeah. Right. That's another. Well, that, that's well, that what I noticed gun, right? mostly. I noticed on. with people being home right now, you got a lot of more attention from, yeah. from people. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a lot of distractions. Right. 
taking them away from the music and different things that yeah. we can provide on. Like artists that wasn't saying nothing, you found out that they wasn't saying nothing. Yeah. Stop listening to them. Yeah. You even got artists that's like mad at different um, platforms, you know, because right. they can't right. just run their mouth no more. Right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You got to go. Get it's not them. their fault. It's, yeah. it's a new world now. What has it like showed you, you know? It shows you that uh, life is short. Like, people walking around and that's how they have it. Like, that. It just, I don't know, it shows you life is short to me. Mm-hmm. God, t- you don't it's take nothing for like, granted. Yeah, yeah, it's like perspective, you know? It's like a lot of people thought about stuff that was like important and that wasn't. And like, this shows you, it should show you where your priorities are. Right. In the long run. And in the short term, just what really matters to you. Mm-hmm. I just feel like what this, this gave us like our people the chance to really come up in the mm-hmm. economy, come up in the world, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Take advantage of this, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of things got shut down, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But And a lot of black businesses pro you know prospered because of this, you know because yeah. we didn't have the resources that I guess we, we, we thought we relied on, right. you know. So like I see like a lot of um independent um clothing, mm-hmm. a lot of uh yeah. Like even masks, even people right. are throwing their logos on masks and different things like that. So I think, you know, besides the people that have lost their lives or the family that got to deal with people that have lost their lives, I really think that it, it showed, like, us as a people, like, you know, yeah. what we really can do right. when we're not distracted mm-hmm. by everything yeah. else that's yeah. going on. What's the hardest thing about being an artist? Let's get to the gritty. Let's get to the... Uh, it's you. Well, you, you almost famous, right? <laughs> <laughs> The hardest thing to me about being an artist is the support. Like, you get support from people you, that you don't know, but you have people that you grew up with, friends, family, like, they'll play some artist, artist shit, mm-hmm. you know, and you be like, well, then you'll never play my stuff, but, mm-hmm. like, like for say, I, one of my cousins, I'm looking on making a sign that somebody paid, and I see that she like, like her shit, but I post something the same minute, you don't never, mm-hmm. so stuff like that. Which like, is just probably support. ten yeah. times better than what she's, what she been posted or looked right. at, yeah. I think because we we um we're artists and we're it's like we're we're in arm reach. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like it's like yeah, you're good, but you right. I could touch you, right. I could see you, yeah. you know what I mean? So right. I think just like our family and our close friends or whatever, I just think they don't see it like what we see. Like, right. you know what I mean? We walk out the door, we almost famous, you know what I'm saying? It's like this shit happened for me already. And they just like, uh you know, you don't got yeah. a Bentley yet. Right. You know what I but mean. But then somebody else that doesn't know you sees that and they love the story. Right. Yeah, because like, they they they're motivated. They're inspired yeah. by. They don't know you are. personally, so they know you as you know right. what they see on just like social media exactly. or like whatever their favorite song it's is. Because now you become the person that your friends can touch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That they can't touch. Right. Now they 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 look at you from across the street like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm in the same yeah. presence with that person. <laughs> so what's the hardest thing for you? It's like. People don't understand how much shit goes into it because mm-hmm. it's like, like we were talking about, you have to be able to read a contract. That's mm-hmm. like part of knowing how to do that. You got to teach yourself some legal mm-hmm. stuff. So that's like law school. Mm-hmm. You got to understand like scales and mm-hmm. notes and all that stuff. So that's like music school. Mm-hmm. You got to study who your audience is. Mm-hmm. So that's like sociology. It's like a whole yeah. college dissertation yeah, it is. <laughs> just yeah. to like go ahead and you make it rap music when you think, care about it as much as you care yeah about it. when you're chasing with we're chasing yeah and i have people come up to me all day like it must be so nice smoke weed and just be in the studio mm-hmm. and i'm no, like think, dog you don't know you don't know for real <laughs> like, uh, well on um, biggie siegel said it you think it's just rhymes and beats yeah man this shit stress time and heat mm-hmm. deadlines to me exactly i love that bar because that's real it's that's real. Real. It's real it's the hardest thing what you don't like about being an artist? Um, I'm gonna say, uh, like almost famous said, it's between for me it's between support and I'm gonna say not uh, you know have the the, the doubt the moments of doubt. Mm-hmm. You know what so like, from, from from the support from the lack of support or from just from everything from you, you know saying because everything inner, gets inner doubt it gets oh, yeah from inner doubt you know what I'm saying just looking at everything like oh. Why they not supporting me? Like, what mm-hmm. am I not hiding? You get up, discouraged. You know what I'm you get discouraged. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, or you know I'm saying, why? You know what I'm saying, you look at, well, you know what I'm saying, why I'm not doing this? Or why I'm not there? Why I'm not, you know what I'm saying? You look at yourself like, damn, am I wasting time? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what am I doing? Mm-hmm. Like, you be ready to give up? Call well, quick, like, um, you know like, you know, the late great Nip said, like, it's a marathon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and don't stop. You know what I'm saying? It's just that it, it, it just ain't, 
you got to keep going, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I think we all understand that, and we all recognize, like, the the further you go and the more you go, the more you learn and the more you, you, you know what I mean, you you conquer, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. Like, what we conquered this year, we would have not even seen two years ago, yeah, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, so, I would have never seen the point where I would have this much time to just focus. Yeah, like, exactly. You know? Like or, or like you said, that someone walking up to you and just says, yo, man, I'm, I'm a fan. Like, yeah. you didn't see that, like, yeah. two, three, four years ago, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, it's true. That's, I said, like, that's why I can say, like, where I'm at now to... A year, two, three years ago, things are different. Uh, you ever had like a bad experience performing? Um, yeah, one uh, one time, I, and I didn't know how to like handle it. I was performing, and the lady like came in front of me and was dancing, and I felt like she was fucking up my performance. She like, came on, were you on stage? Yeah, oh, like, you know, I was, it was, I was on the ground in front okay. of the stage. But like, she came in front of me, and started dancing, and back in that time, I'm like, "What you fucking up my set?" But <laughs> I wasn't thinking she was enjoying herself. Yeah, hell yeah. So well, that got, was early in. It in was the, early. It was like okay. yeah, early, early. Yeah. And like I didn't. Now I'm older. Like now, like, I now when she was there, I would been like dancing with her. And yeah. Back in the day, I was just like, "You fucking up my shit." <laughs> right. Like, right. So I, I, if I would have to like touch on like my worst performance, oh man, it's so many because I, I. I I had I, I'm kind of like a high head up there. Like I actually stopped drinking before <laughs> performing because it it just it it takes me somewhere else. But I think my worst one I think it's always like whereas though actually is with the DJ. You know what I mean? If you don't have a good mm. relationship, it's yeah. like a hair. It's like a barber. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like if this barber don't like you, your cut probably <laughs> not about to turn out <laughs> right. So I think. In my beginner years of performing or whatever, I wasn't really building relationships. I probably had an arrogant, you know, thing about me. And a lot of times, numerous times, I think it was probably a DJ messing me up. A DJ, I'm rapping live, you know. I don't I don't rap over my lyrics. Yeah. So if I'm rapping live, the DJ is important. Right. So as soon as he... And I might even have dancers on stage and all types of stuff. One slip up from that DJ takes my whole set off. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So... I think that'd be probably the only time I've really been like frustrated on stage or anything like that. It's probably just me not being in sync with the DJ. Yeah. Much on, I remember this. This is the worst experience I ever had. It was Mills Creek Tavern. We was down there. I forgot for what show, but like I was about to go on stage. I get up on stage, like all the crowd was in there. All of a sudden, like everybody started leaving out the door, like, mm. you know, just leaving. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, that's fucked up. We just got on stage. Right. And like, come to find out, somebody that I came with got in a fight outside, and like, they were just like, "Yo, like, yeah." So and that's the thing; it comes to when, you know, what I mean, we go into these 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 shows or whatever, or, yeah. or early in the career or whatever, and you want to get on at a certain time because yeah. you got your whole crowd in yeah. there. You got, your, and then something like that happened. <laughs> I was like, yo, just, <laughs> all week I worked on this fucking set, and, yeah. and I can't even you got get up it there off to be started. Yo, yo, what's up? Da, 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 da. Everybody leave out. They yeah. fighting in a lot. Fuck. Yeah. They're just like, y'all gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Then they, yeah. Um, I had a, a, a few bad experiences, but I'm gonna say the biggest one was when I opened up for my college. It was like, um, I, I was on a point where everything was just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, one of the persons that's supposed to perform, he was running late. You know what I'm saying? So when I, as I'm going outside to go get him and tell security, you know, like he's performing, you know what I'm saying? Like let him in. Mm -hmm. They're calling us on stage. Mm -hmm. And it's like either, you know what I'm saying, you go get him and miss your set wow. and don't perform or you perform without him. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you know what I mean? You performed without him. Had to. Of course. <laughs> Had to. Of course. How you feel about that? I mean, he... He wasn't mad that we performed because, you know what I'm saying, like, he was glad that we still performed. You right, know what I mean? right. He's like, yeah. you know, like, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're not supposed to be late either, though. Like, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? And he knew because he had an opportunity to ride with us, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, up there. It happens. Right. And good thing you was there to hold it down yeah. for, you know, for you and, and your team and, you know what I mean, and everything to stand for. So, uh, in, this, in this business, uh, because it becomes a business, so, like, in this business, to come back to the contracts and the things like that, have you ever, like, uh, invested in yourself with, like, um, let's say someone like Aired Out Radio or uh, a radio personality or anybody, and you ever got, like, jerked? You ever got, like, fucked in the long, in, in the short run? I mean, like... Let me start with you. We go with you, Chris. I, I, yeah, because it's like, 
it's sometimes you don't want to invest in yourself. You want somebody else to take mm -hmm. responsibility, and that was my main issue okay. for the longest. So we so talking like management, management labels. Okay, you know, but it's just like I wasn't taking responsibility for my own music. I'm just like I'm gonna make rap songs. You take it, mm -hmm. do what you want to do with it. And like just for the longest, I was doing that, and that's not like getting jerked because like you know I didn't really lose anything personally well really and also you don't know what if you were just handing your music to someone to take care of they everything, might have got jerked and you don't even know what yeah. the hell happened you know what i'm saying that's yeah it's just a much, bad mindset yeah yeah so how about you Rasky? um as far um i mean i've actually held off on on, on management until like late this year in my career mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i just got a management you know what i'm saying the only time i really got jerked was when i was independent like solely independent no manager no nothing mm -hmm. and i went and um gave money to uh perform for uh in baltimore for new year's eve mm -hmm. you know what i mean and ended up getting burnt Cause that sound lucrative. Like yeah, we talking yeah. New Year's Eve. We New talking Year's Eve, Baltimore, Baltimore the city. biggest club. I'm the headline. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that, but now that we, I'm sure that's the little things we look for now. Yeah. Some shit just be too big, but too good to be true. It's yeah. like you want me to open up for Jay Z. <laughs> what are you talk about? Like you know what I mean? Yeah. How about you, for almost famous? Man, I never you got drunk like money wise. Mm -hmm. I think um, I was supposed to perform for Dream Doll, and everything was going good. And then something happened. I did. I was there. She, she didn't perform, she was on the couch, you know how they do. Mm -hmm. And this other boy performed before me that I didn't even know about, and then when it was my turn, they shut the club down. Like, mm -hmm. that was like the only thing I felt like I got right. a jerk with. Because the expectations yeah. were bigger yeah. than what you, yeah. But not money-wise anything. All right, so. Um, yeah. Like, they got to join, like, um, the big artists, like tag artists, and like your friends tag you, mm -hmm. and then the Jadakiss and the, I had, the, somebody tag me on Jadakiss join, I had sent my joint to Jada because he wrote me back. I don't know if it was him, but it was his right. official page. He was like, yeah, you pay this amount of money. You don't know the you want. Yeah, yeah, like... That, that one that fifth, nobody got that fifth no more. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I see they right. always doing that. I think that was a COVID, um, yeah, a COVID they, counter. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like they I did it with Wallo. Wallo, I did it with Wallo. Yeah, they did a mixtape. They did. And he actually put it on the tape. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, what was it? It was on that pip or it was on it was on SoundCloud. Oh, okay. it was on SoundCloud. And then I think Cassidy was doing one Cassidy on hit me my up. mixtapes. I think yeah, yeah. They, they all scared it around. But I actually asked Cassidy. I said, Jada Kiss actually inboxed me the same thing. What's yeah. this about? He said, oh, well, we had the same manager. I left it at that. You know what I mean? I didn't really get into it. Yeah. I'm not knocking no yeah. one's hustle. You know what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying? There's a lot of starving artists out here that are, yeah. that are jump on that. I'm you sorry. know what I'm saying? Yeah, because when I talked to Kiss, yeah. he said the same thing. He like, yeah, I'm putting together a mixtape for underground yeah. artists. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, you can, yeah. you can put your money into that if you, if you want to, or you can put your money into, you I'm know. I'm going to pay for my own video, my own studio, something like that. Right. Yeah. Right. question i guess for the culture you know what i mean for the hip-hop culture is the dj important anymore i feel like yeah, yeah. definitely yeah not the radio dj i mean the, the dj, DJ. The, the gym as the yeah. james of the yeah. world the, um very important jazzy jeff that, that, that was one of the first elements of hip-hop right the, the yeah. real hip-hop right dj you're gonna do any solid of first like yeah. shows in right. a row, like mm -hmm. a tour, then you need a DJ to be just as solid as right. you know, the access yeah. on the tour. Right. You know I think without the DJ, what well, was well, scenarios yeah. like you say where you when your partner is not there, then the DJ being yeah. another entity to that, then you got him up there to, to be let's, let's get this yeah. crowd. Like yeah. I mean, I can hold him off for this one and a half minute that he supposed to be on track. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah. I feel like so. you can't do. I feel like the DJ make the music go around. You can't. You gotta have a good a DJ. So gotta or do you need a DJ? You don't need one, okay. but it's good to have one. Or it's have a good one backing you up playing your stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's good to have one. Or at least a good relationship with right. the, the yeah. DJ, the yeah. house. Yeah. My manager Novi for connecting me with that DJ. So I got I don't know, I've been trying to figure it out. I mean, I, like you need somebody that's with the music in the same way that's not also a rapper. Because then the rapper mm -hmm. wants to be like the featured person mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Right, like, right. I need a DJ DJ. Don't tell me you rap also. I'm a forever have I got DJ Smooth Ride. That's from Shadow Tracks. So if I ever need a DJ, I know that's who I can call on. So, right. Yeah. And shout out DJ Crazy Legs, the Team Danger Zone official DJ. 
whenever you get up off your ass and get back to work. <laughs> That's what that happens. Really? I thought you was going to say the time where I stopped your mind. That, that. Happens. <laughs> that happens. I thought you was going to say that. I was like, he mm. definitely going to say that time. That time. happens. No? Like he said, when people leave, that happens. Some of this stuff happens. Like you just got to I thought I was, I was scared for my life. Uh -uh. That, that. No. That, that wasn't no big deal. And I made out good with that anyway. He some sure things, did. Some things happen for a reason. I wanted to give him extra shit, extra shit. <laughs> How long do you promote mask? Me like a oh, day, say no. Maybe like two months or two or three months. But my main song is options, but like mask is like my new new song. Right. So how long you been pushing options? For like four years, four years. Right. Yeah. So how long should you push your single? Until it get picked up by the right person. I probably should until it get picked up or it's chart or you get something bigger out of it. Mm -hmm. It's just basically, you know, that's your baby, and I ain't gonna right. take the gas off this song, right. but I'm gonna keep making new music and whatnot. Right. How about you? Well, my main song right now is Nostalgia. Just shot the video for that. That's on ChrisWomans.com. So it's like, uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, there's three songs that's it's, on this next project. Okay. And I'm shooting videos to them. It's like part one, two, and three of a trilogy. Mm -hmm. So I'm like going through time and like, you get the technology, you steal the time technology. Then I'm going to go, the second John rule mm -hmm. is going to be, I'm going to go back in time and kidnap Obama and take his place mm -hmm. in 2008 and I'm going to be president. Okay. And then like the third John, I'm still working on that. So how far apart from these different ones do you drop them? That's what I'm trying to figure out now. Like nostalgia is out now. Mm -hmm. I, I want to give it a space because it's doing what it does right now. So like, we'll see. Um, I got to play it by ear though. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm always putting on new music. I'm always writing, so it's like. Mm -hmm. But I, do you have that pup? You know that baby that you. How long do you push her before say, you say I'm done with this one? I'm gonna say that's for because I I dropped six seven projects this year so far. Mm. I'm gonna say my favorite one out of all of them is my birthday uh project I dropped Rick Drift Edition. You know what I mean? Cause it's just like how long? When was your birthday? July second. Okay. You know what I mean? So I've been promoting it there. I just got video edits for a couple of them. You know what I'm saying they're gonna be played on radio down ETL. Mm -hmm. So you know. Okay. So you still pushing that? Still since pushing. July, we're gonna move out the whole year with that one. Yeah. All right. So I guess it's safe to say a year. I mean, a single for a single. We talking a single art project? It's like a hidden single. You Give, you got to give it a space as much time as it mm -hmm. needs a space, you know? Because I mean? music changes <laughs> with the seasons, I think. Right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what a pop in the winter might not pop in the summer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what so, the drip edition is for. It was for the summer. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now we're getting into the winter. Go into but the come fall, around yeah. next year's summer, yeah. you know what I'm and it's a new life again. What's the yeah. best online tool to use to get your fans' attention? I mean, for me, um, what my manager recommended was a link tree. Because mm -hmm. that allows you to have multiple links within that one link. So if you want my bio and click my link, mm -hmm. you'll have my YouTube channel, Spotify, iTunes, Press Kit, SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it, so okay, so um, I might have worded it wrong. I mean, I, I, I hear what you're saying. That's per yeah, that's that's definitely like what, what we all need to have because wherever you want to look at, you know what I mean? If you'd like to be on title, then, you know, the, here's your title thing. Like, you shouldn't have to go get an a iPhone, you know what I mean, or <laughs> yeah. iTunes if you're already in groove with title. But, okay, so lucrative to, like, uh, let's say, pay a DJ to spin it, or um, or um, go to, like, one of the, um, what, like, Say Cheese, or one of them type yeah, of, uh, for sure. you know what I mean? Or I actually, World you know, Star, do you still? I actually, ZTV, they have connection with Roku TV. Mm -hmm. I paid uh, to get my video to be on Roku TV. My mm -hmm. video went number one. That's good. And yeah, that's a, yeah, no, that's it was a, it was worth it. Right. It was worth me paying it. You know what I mean? Well like what I did, I got a web host and I got my own website. So it's like all my social media, all the uh Apple Music title, Spotify, all that stuff will say Chris dot com. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to Chris dot com, all the links will be there. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's feeding yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. Because so, you have a website, which yeah. is which is of course Every business should have a website. Yeah. Like, you just run everything through the website. Right. And so, like, when they're coming there, they're typing your name to get there. So, do you send? would you send your fans to another website? Like, say, uh, Air Out Radio? 
Well, yeah, I send my fans. A lot of people see me on Air Dot Radio. A lot of people see me sometimes on like on Air Reserve, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But like, you want to have home base, right? So you want to send, you want to let the people know here on Air Dot Radio yeah. to come see, yeah. Chris, where we're and you probably yeah. see this interview on ChrisOmas dot com also. Gotcha. But it's also Air Dot Radio, so gotcha. like, you know. Um, well, I got the I got the link tree. I feel like for me, everything for me is on Instagram. Like Instagram take you to everything. Right. Most of my followers on Instagram, but I got the link tree. So when you get my link, all my Spotify, mm -hmm. uh, iTunes, all that, whatever one you got, you click on. So is Instagram the most important? You think? Do we, do we, will we all agree? It's my that? favorite. I'm gonna say Instagram, <laughs> between Instagram and TikTok. TikTok. TikTok yeah. is the yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's important to start having more mainstream music mm -hmm. so you know what I'm saying you know or getting it on like distro kid or tune core stuff like mm -hmm. that so mm -hmm. then on TikTok mm -hmm. you know that yeah. way your fans be able to you know do and the kids love TikTok the kids. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you get a you get a challenge going on something yeah. it's rocky mm -hmm. that, the know? artists it's a lot of work I will yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what are you trying to tell people? It's not just you don't just be sitting smoking yeah. weed yeah. making rap songs. Like it's not, not at that. all. Not at all. So uh, true artistry. That is. How about exactly. family and relationship though? Like, does that intervene or interfere, or does it help with what we do? What about relationship per se? Like, you know, just a just a just a significant other. Does that get in the way? I mean, it can if you don't have the right significant other. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like if you don't have the right person supporting you and and that understands where everything comes with being an artist and stuff like that then it's not gonna work right how about you I mean like what like family or relationship let's do relationship because I think we could all um, agree on children you know yeah. with it being children and family you know mother or whoever yeah. that everything shuts down when it's time to take care of that yeah. and so I think we can all agree on that and I think that Children and our family and our supporters, you know, being family too, that's pushing us to where we're going. Yeah. But as you said, it depends when it comes to that significant yeah. other. So. Because like you need a certain level of confidence. Like understand every single day I'm going out, putting myself to the world. Like I need y'all to love me. Mm -hmm. And like if that other person is like, oh, I gotta keep this person, you know, to myself. Right. Then it's like <laughs> that's not gonna work. You right. need to be confident enough to know that like this mm -hmm. is my job. You need to help me with this damn job. Yeah, <laughs> it's my job. So like, um, relationship-wise, like I was just in a situation where I was like, I gotta have a show. I gotta show or something. You take me there. What? Right. And, like an attitude. What you right. guys doing? There? Like, right. so that's why you say you do gotta find somebody that's mm -hmm. that's on what you on. Cause yeah, like, you gotta respect the grind. Going two man. different, like two different uh, careers, or mm -hmm. they don't understand the music industry, they understand the business, and mm -hmm. just like. They don't understand like you gotta really be out and doing stuff. Right. And well, it's funny, I saw like a meme drawn and it was like uh when you date an artist or somebody in the entertainment business, you automatically an assistant. Mm -hmm. Like you automatically yeah, gotta yeah. take pictures and all that. And yeah, some people don't feel like doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so if you're not helping me, you kinda hurting me in the right. sense that this is just a twenty four hour job. The, your significant um, other is Cardi or Megan. Like how do you deal with that? With you know, being a fella? Cause we want them honestly, to respect our job. I know I, I can mean, do it. All right, honestly, <laughs> tell Megan I said I'm right. serious. <laughs> I know I can do it. All right, now part of me can deal with it, but then on the simple fact though, I'm looking at this like I'm not. I wouldn't allow the mother of my kids to do no shit like that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But that's her that's, job. That's, that's her profession. I mean, sex sells. I mean, sex sells. You know what I'm saying, but at the end of the day though, you know what I'm saying, like all right. I'm not out here, you know what I'm saying, selling myself in that fashion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm talking about these things, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's a difference, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Than me actually. You know but what I mean? manager, I'm sorry, what's your manager name? We, Novi. Novi. Yeah. Novi want two big titties on your shoulders in the next <laughs> video. <laughs> well, we, you know what I mean? The, 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 you know? I mean. Just to play, just, that just goes, so we not being biased. I mean, you know right. what I'm saying? We got females watching too. That, 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 that goes back to, you know what I'm saying? Your significant other understanding mm -hmm. your your profession. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like like me personally, I wouldn't put I wouldn't pick, you know what I'm saying, a female that's in the entertainment, you know what I'm right, saying, right. profession because I understand what they have to do and mm -hmm. go through. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to subject say, myself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like right. I don't I'm saying like you feel me like 
If I'm gonna call you my queen, you're not about to sit up here and be, mm-hmm. you know, saying expose yourself for everybody else right. to see you in that right. way. Right. You know Roski do that, so you ain't had to go do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm just with the shit. Yeah. So, like, I'm a server in a restaurant daytime. Right. Like, that's my day job. So, like, all we do, like, and I've dated other servers in the same restaurant, other restaurants. I'm not gonna put nobody's name out there, obviously. But, like, yeah, we. All we do is flirt with people. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. And, and you, you get, get tips, right? And that's how you get paid. So it's just like, I know what you're doing. It's just you know what marketing. I'm doing. Yeah. It's marketing. Mm-hmm. So like, I'm all right with the lot video. Tell uh-huh. Megan I said, <laughs> hit me up, yo. Um, I feel like uh, it depends on who you pick. Like, you well, know. how you feel about WAP? How do you feel about what is pussy <laughs> being sold on our devices? So how, they, how right do, so how do you? So how do you feel about uh, all set? Well, he be rapping about fucking bitches and mm-hmm. like I mean, it's, it's the job you chose. It's a, mm-hmm. That's I, all I'm saying. I know. Let me ask this though: Is there a difference between? Because we don't glorify like you know what I'm saying like like do we put out big ass dicks? You know what I'm saying long right. ass dick. Right. You know what I'm saying like that. You know what I'm saying like but I'm saying but do we put songs out titled like that though? You know what I'm saying? Like so we don't like, sell no, prostitution. Exactly. I can. I think I'm I won't like, agree like, with that. Too, we don't say too short. I mean, like, are you cool? too short. Sell I mean, so <laughs> hoes. <yeah. laughs> so <laughs> that's pepping. I'm saying like that's pe- like oh, that's no. pepping. So that's the shit, pepping. the shit. What's the name? The baby be saying about yeah. So which is his girl supposed to be like? Oh, well, you can't. I mean, I feel like it's 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 an even feel. Right. I mean, I'm gonna say it's the entertainment business. Mm-hmm. I mean. It's all what you like and what you stand for. Like if you were like dating Usher or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you it, gotta be with the shits or mm-hmm. not. <laughs> and I am. Because that's, that's, that's one thing that's never got others gotta realize. Because let's say we blow up the day of tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to stand for 10,000 to 100,000 millions of different women trying to throw themselves at, at, your, mm-hmm. at your partner. I think what my girl worry about the most is. Just being gone for so long, she's like, "There's no way in hell. Temptation is just. There's no way you're going. You're on tour for whatever. Yeah, yeah. And it's no way. Yeah, like you yeah, know yeah. what I mean. Like yeah, if yeah. anybody know our sex drive, they know. Right. So you know what I'm saying. So, I'm, but it becomes a respect thing. It's just that this is what we chasing, and this is what comes with it. And you got Gabriel Union holding Dwayne Wade now, though, and he's what off uh, flying different cities all yeah. the time. Yeah. It's just. You either have that level of trust that you, or you don't. Right. And you can't act like you do and don't. Mm-hmm. And you can't act like you don't and do. Mm-hmm. You just have to be real with yourself. Right. Yeah, it's, it's just it's marketing. marketing so, you know uh, but I feel as though it's also like... Is it degrading? Like, is, is, like is, is, is Cardi and Megan any different from Eve and MC Light? Yes. A little bit. Yes, they are. You know what I'm saying? Because Eve and MC... Look at Eve and MC Light. You know what I'm saying? They spoke on those things... But they didn't make it seem like they were whores. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do you look at Eve and MC like it's whores? No. no. How do you view Cardi, Cardi B? I won't, I can't say that. I don't whores view Cardi because B. Because we understand the right. business, you know? All right. But you view her, you view them lesser than than you would Eve and MC Light. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you would give Eve and MC Light more respect than you would Cardi B and make it yeah, I mean, what is it? Freak in the sheets. Um, what how how does how what's the say? Oh, the freak in the streets. Uh, 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 what is it? Uh, lady, lady in the street, lady in the street, freak in the, street, in the bed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I would agree with that, of course. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't yeah. view Cardi in the same light as Megan, though. That's the thing. Like, Cardi B makes agree with these that. type of songs. I don't, I don't Megan mean, doesn't make just this. Right. Like, she don't. She's got a wide category. She mm-hmm. don't. Yeah, you're right. You're so right. I feel like she's more versatile. Yeah. Than yeah. Cardi B is. Yeah. So yeah. it's like I don't put those two in the well, same. Well, I will. Well, Cardi. At one point, I think she found the lane. Yeah. But at yeah. one point, it I mean, was. I think like, she was kind of diverse a little bit. That's, that's also. not her I mean, music, but, though. Like, but that's what yeah. she is, you know, though. That's not her. That's, that's, what, she, that's <laughs> what she is, though. Yeah, yeah. stripper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We all well, heard the stories well, about, well, the, about what she used to do. Eve, Eve also. Yeah. Eve so too. we can't say that. You, know I, you just said that like she's she could, far from who she is, but they both come from the same place. So if Cardi cleans up in the next two years and... And and go gets a show on um, Fox and I hope so. And and marries a British guy. Do we forget about what? No, no. That's yeah, no, no. We, no, we can, we can, yeah. we can, because we can forget Eve for her sex tape with, with with Stevie J. Yeah, 
You don't mm-hmm. forget about it though. Like I still know that happened. No, we don't forget, but we can forgive it. You know what I'm saying? They were earlier in their careers. Everybody has their own mm-hmm. little personalities because yeah. E personality is way different from Cardi personality. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, they, everybody is different. different. And I said like the Cardi same. is ratchet. She's openly ratchet. Right. Like she, she's and she's all fine the time. With that. Like not you just music all the time. Mm-hmm. She's like that. Eve is more <laughs> so. You know, she's from Philly. She's Philly. She's Philly. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we know how. I'm saying like she's. Well, I just just reverse back on Eve because we spoke on the strippers. Yeah. And I don't want to be biased. You know yeah, what I'm right, saying? Right, right. I want to keep it like they come. They both come from the same background, so you know yeah. what I'm saying. Like that's why the comparison. We got, was, two, we got two different type of strippers, though. That's you got true. professional dancers, and you got mm-hmm. the mother, yeah. the mother strippers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's downs and the tribulations and all of that in the music business. Chris, have you ever said like like felt like fuck it? Like I'm just I done did. with this. I did at one point. And I've been making rap music for like thirteen years. And mm-hmm. it was about three years ago where I was just like, fuck it. I'm gonna do one more John and just be done with it. Mm-hmm. And went to go promote it at a Halloween party and wore these contacts and everybody lost their fucking mind. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, Alright, I guess I gotta keep doing this at least. Right. And it's Well why like, why did you come to that? It was a Halloween costume, like straight up. It's like from an anime. No, book. why did you come to? This? I'm done. Uh, why, why did, did you... I? No. Yeah. Um, it's just like, like, it, like my goal before was to just make the music, stay authentic to myself, and then like have nothing else distract me from that. So I'm just gonna make music. I'm gonna give it to somebody to market it, mm-hmm. the way they feel. And like, I think if I make good enough music, that should be enough to be successful, mm-hmm. and it isn't. There's a lot more that goes mm-hmm. into rap music than that. How about you, right. almost yeah. Um, It's the time I want to give up. I'll be wanting to quit. And then it just seems like every time I, I, I get frustrated by someone I want to quit, I run to somebody that know me or mm-hmm. like something happened that's not be like, oh, keep going. I just run to it just something happened. Something to boost that inspiration right, yeah. right back up. Right. right. All the time. I mean, I'm going to say this year has been like the only year where like I haven't had that doubt. And it's mm-hmm. because it's like, since I stay consistent, it's like everything's been going. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's like, boom, put out this and then get their reaction. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? This, that, that, and that. So it's just like, you know what I mean? It builds up your confidence. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you stay consistent, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And just, you know, weather the storm. It's a, it's a saying. Yeah. I, I, I like that because I bounce around and do a lot of shit. Yeah. But when I find a lane, I see, like you said, you might get a call. You might run into somebody. Mm-hmm. You're like, you know what? This shit really bubbling this 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 mm-hmm. couple of months or, or yeah. whatever's going on. Right? And then you'll come to a halt again. You'll come to a, a stop again or a whatever. And we just got to keep going. Like we said yeah. before, it's just a marathon. And we, you know what I mean? Once you overcome them couple... Um, What's the things in the in, in the race that you jump over? The hurdles. hurdles. Yeah, once you overcome some of them hurdles, yeah. then you 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 know you you stay in that lane. You get in that lane, and now that shit just like you know second it's nature. Cool. Yeah. What would you say is the um the most stressful thing about it? Um, just about just all of it, it of all like not the supporters, not the just the you and music. What would be like the most stressful thing of it all? The most stressful thing for me, I would say, is um. Because patience is virtue, so we cannot get, like, caught up in it and happen yet. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because that, that, that was my problem for a long time, being impatient. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Expecting for stuff to happen right there on the spot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. once I learned patience, it was more so of me taking the time to really, like, perfect myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And perfect me. Like, don't worry about what everybody else doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just look. You can't worry about nobody else. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, Chris, you know what I'm saying, has mm-hmm. did 100,000 views in a minute. Mm-hmm. I can't worry about right. that. You right. know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. that's his lane. Mm-hmm. Whatever he's doing, I can't mm-hmm. worry about that. Mm-hmm. Everybody has their own path. So I feel like that was my biggest problem. I'm seeing what everybody else's success is and mm-hmm. wondering why it's not yeah, happening. Comparing. Comparing. Yeah. 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 You know why saying? is it happening for them but not happening for me? Right. Instead yeah. of just focus on what you're doing, mm-hmm. you'll get your time. You'll right. get your shot. I, just doing like different stuff. I told y'all like I get anxious before some shit that mm-hmm. I haven't done before. So like I'd be stressed out about some shit that like you know mm-hmm. you about to sit on the panel tonight and right. discuss. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, I'm sitting. In the panel. Like, what am I say? Am I, right. Is right. my jokes gonna be funny enough? Right, right. <laughs> it's just like little shit like that. But that in the end, it doesn't really need it. Right. Just just loosening up and getting at ease. Yeah. 
just but like we said earlier, that's the nervousness. That's yeah. I think that's like like LeBron is nervous tonight. It's no way in hell you're not nervous a little bit in the least, finals man. in right. You know what like I mean? When you had the Nuggets and they was three one and they just came back from yeah. two other three yeah. ones. Yeah. Yeah. It's like what if this happens yeah. to me? Or so even just know. going to LA and, and, and now everything's riding on you and you know all the blame yeah. is gonna be pointed at you. That's about yeah. getting older and I don't wanna be a watch I don't know, I just I just don't wanna be one of those watched up artists that said what if? Yeah, like I don't that's like my biggest like fear is like mm-hmm. and then I'm like I dance I don't want to be like just dancing like trying to dance and sing I'm like 40 something years old mm-hmm. so that's like my biggest fear like right, right. this industry is just like getting older and it don't happen well I know Fire um, she only deal with was serious and I know we in a room full of serious artists right. so I don't think none of us would be working that long trying to get seen you know what right. I'm saying so um, I don't know what been like kind of beating in my head. So you almost famous. So what happens when you are famous? That's like a normal question. <laughs> <laughs> I probably change. I probably change it to, to AF. That's okay. something. I, I, I'm. I don't know. But a lot of people ask me that. I don't mm-hmm. know. Already famous? Something. They just do already famous? Yeah, because I need somebody <laughs> out that got that name. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So oh. um, any hype man bad bad hype man experiences? You ever um, been through that? No, not really, cause. A lot of the times, um, if I'm performing and somebody's on stage with me, now it's time to send their own song mm-hmm. and we done rehearsed, you know what I'm saying? When it was Picking song, each other up anyway. Right, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, when you first record something, you know what I'm saying? You listen to it all mm-hmm. day, you know what I'm saying? Well, what about not a hype man, but just an entourage band? Mm-hmm. Like, your man been on the, on, on the stage, <laughs> drawing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I ain't never really had it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm a, uh, one performance we had up in... Like red line rule, and it's like my man, like you know, he alcoholic, mm-hmm. but it was like <laughs> relatable. This this alcoholic <laughs> though came like it, it was perfect though because you know, I'm saying he bought a bottle, mm-hmm. poured the whole crowd a shot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like and made everybody get right. in tune yeah, right. and vibe with us. So it was just that's like, a real hype man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It came in clutch, so I can't really say yeah. I had a bad experience yeah. with it. Yeah. I don't put features on my song, so I don't really have too many like experiences mm-hmm. with like a second party okay. that would be messing up the music in any way. You right. know, like I don't put the features on, so I can do like if I'm gonna do my show set, it's just me. I don't have to worry about. Got you. So I told you they was fighting at middle school. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do that. Anymore. I had a bit like entourage. Uh, spend, like, it was just like a co manager. I did like a film at a fashion show. And it was like a runway, mm-hmm. and he's recording me and like. I had my friend in the audience recording me the whole time. He like in front of me, like recording me and blocking the crowd and everything. Mm. So that's like, I got the video back and you couldn't even see my oh, performance. Man. He's standing in front of me, like, <laughs> right. and, and then he came here and so fight uh, chicken. He said the whole bag of chicken that we had like a little show a show here. That's yeah. confirmed until now. Yeah, the air? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And took all the chicken? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's I'm oh, glad man. I know that for real now because I didn't I, it was it was always something that I thought. Had. Oh no, you definitely did bring that up one time. I said one that up one time. Like the biker had to all my chicken before. <laughs> and he, he didn't bring the chicken. We ain't got the chicken back yet, huh? No. <laughs> I thought it was like French fries or something. When I saw him <laughs> with it, I was like, oh, man. It was the old joint. We were looking for it, like, oh, all right. <laughs> uh, I want y'all to tell the folks a little bit um, where to find you at on um, social media. Okay. Let them know about your new project out right now and where we going in the future. All right. What's up, everybody? It's your most famous boy, almost famous 215. My album is out now on all, all platforms entitled Cold Red. All platforms. Video out now. Just type in almost famous 215 on all platforms. Yo, what's going on? My name is Chris Womiss, C-H-R-I-S-W-O-N-T-M-I-S-S. It's all in one word. Google it. ChrisWomiss.com is where you find everything. The video's out right now, Nostalgia Part 1 to the Trilogy. Uh, album coming in 2021. It's a whole lot of shit going on. Yo, I'm a Raskity Rap guy. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on all social medias. Rosky Snow, R-A-S-K-I underscore Snow. You know what I'm saying? Got Rave Drip Edition out right now on SoundCloud. Got Princess Scenes coming out on all uh, platforms. And I got the Riddick album coming out on all platforms. Over and out, already certified. Y'all go check out Certified Season on all streaming platforms. And go check out Last Shot on Amazon Prime and all streaming platforms for movies. You've been smacked.